Welcome back to This Is A Commander Channel, where this is a Commander Channel, and today I'm going to talk about Commander, Tough Rules, and Cool Interactions, Episode 51. Today's episode is going to expand on some of the things that I have covered in Tough Rules and Cool Interactions Episode 9, which focused on the combat phase, but specifically it covered some of the differences between protection from and indestructible. And seeing as how in the new Warhammer 40k product that we will be getting soon, they are reprinting Bastion Protector as well as a new card called Vexilus Praetor, which has a somewhat similar effect. I'm making this episode dedicated to discussing the differences between them and how they will protect your commander in similar ways and different ways. So let's start off by reading these two cards. Starting with the reprinted card, Bastion Protector, is a 3-3 human soldier for 2 and a white that says commander creatures you control get plus 2 plus 2 and have indestructible. And then the new card is Vexilus Praetor. It is a 3-4 Custodes Warrior, I'm probably messing that up, uh, for 3 and a white. That has both Flash and Vigilance, and it says commanders you control have protection from everything. So, what exactly does protection from everything mean? What will it actually save your commander from, and what will the Bastion Protector be better at saving your commander from? Oh, and for those wanting to dive even deeper into these rules, uh, or for reference later, Indestructible is located in the Comprehensive Rules in Section 702.12, and then Protection is in Section 702.16. First off, I have to award one point to Bastion because it only costs three mana rather than four, but also must award two points to Vexilus because it has flash, and that can make a massive difference when you're wanting to protect your commander. So, what does protection from actually mean? The easiest way to remember the four things that protection does is the word debt. D E B T. Debt. D is for damage. E is for enchanted slash equipped slash fortified. B is for blocked. And T is for targeted. You will notice that I never said the word destroy. Only damage. Usually when dealing with protection, it is for a specific color, a card type, a creature type, mana cost, or a player. But every now and then, we will see protection from everything. Currently, on now four cards in Magic as of this episode. So let's run down some examples of things that these two cards will save your commanders from. First off, Bastion Protector, because it's a lot easier of a list. For these examples, let's just imagine that your commander is Isamaru, Hound of Konda which is a nice and simple 2-2 two, two creature with no other abilities. The Bastion will save your Isamaru from someone casting a Murder as well as a Damnation, because both of those cards are Destroy Effects. One important thing to note here is that if Damnation is being cast, it will destroy the Bastion, but not your Commander because at the same time that the Bastion is being destroyed, your commander has that indestructible applying. In addition, the Bastion would save your Isamaru from a spell like Engulfing Eruption, which says that it deals five damage to target creature. Your commander will not be saved because its toughness is now higher than five. In fact, it's only four in this specific situation. And it doesn't even save it from the damage either. It is still taking the 5 damage, meaning that it has a higher amount of damage noted or marked on it than it does have for toughness. But what it does save it from is another destroy effect. I'll cover this in much more detail in a future episode where we specifically focus on state-based actions, but in short, a lethal amount of damage on a creature causes that creature to be destroyed when state-based actions are checked. So in this case of your commander having indestructible, they are saved from the state-based action trying to destroy it. So continuing this damage thing, let's say an opponent casts an Anger of the Gods. 
and it deals three damage to all creatures, including your Isamaru, which is currently a 4-4 with Indestructible because of your Bastion. So obviously, if Isamaru was saved before from the five damage targeted spell, it definitely is saved from this three damage spell, right? Sadly, you would be wrong if you said yes to that question. It will be saved for a short amount of time, but the anger will deal the three damage to Isamaru, which isn't enough to kill it just yet, but it will also be dealing that same three damage to the Bastion, which does only have three toughness. So state-based actions will check and it will destroy the Bastion, at which point the state-based actions will be checked again to see if there are any updates. And yes, there are. Because now your Isamaru is back down to just two toughness and that three damage is still marked on it. And more importantly, it no longer has indestructible. So the state-based action that tried to destroy it before will try again and this time it will succeed. So that's what the Bastion will save your commander from. Let's see what the new Vexilus will save your Isamaru from. Let's check out some same examples from before. Murder? Yes. Safe, because murder requires a target. And that's one of the four parts from debt. What about damnation? No, your Isamaru will not be safe from that. It will still be destroyed from cards like Damnation, as they do not target, and nothing in the debt thingy mentions destroy effects. What about Engulfing Eruption? Yes, because like with Murder, it is a spell that requires a target. What about Anger of the Gods? Here is another different answer. Yes, the Isamaru will be saved from Anger of the Gods. And the reason for this is because the Anger doesn't target, so it will try to burn the Isamaru. But the D in debt is for damage. And when Anger resolves, it will try to deal damage to Isamaru for the three, but the protection will prevent this three damage. And also, the Vexilus will live as well because, unlike Bastion, it has four toughness. Before, the Isamaru only died to the Anger of the Gods because the Bastion died. So what if we replace Anger with a Delayed Blast Fireball being cast from Exile, which will make it deal five damage to both Isamaru and the Vexilus. Now, the Vexilus is going to die to the Delayed Blast Fireball. So does that mean that Isamaru will die once state-based actions are checked again? No, it will not. The difference is that with Indestructible, the damage still happens and is marked on the creature, but then it's saved when the state-based actions try to destroy it. But with Protection, the damage is prevented. It never happens. It's never marked on that creature in the first place. So both times that state-based actions are checked, it will not see any of that damage marked on it. Now, what about something like an Utter End, which is also getting reprinted in the 40k product? It says Exile, which the Bastion would not save it from. But with the Vexilus, does it save Isamaru? Yes, again, because of that word target. But if someone were to cast something like a farewell and choose the creature mode, then the Vexilus wouldn't be able to save Isamaru from it because there is no target needed. So what else will the Vexilus do for the rest of those parts of debt? Auras and equipments that are attached to your commander will fall off the very second that Vexilus resolves and enters the battlefield as a state-based action. So if someone has turned your Isamaru into a tree with a Song of the Dryads, then that will remove the aura from your dog. It doesn't matter that your commander isn't currently a creature, which the Bastion does specify commander creature, but the Vexilus just states all commanders you control. So if you have a background as one of your commanders, which is an enchantment, it too will gain protection from everything and save it from something like a disenchant that is trying to target it. And of course, in addition to the already attached auras and equipment, any later attempts to cast an aura or to equip 
slash attach an equipment to your commander will fail as they cannot target your commander. This does sadly apply to you as well, not just your opponent's spells. You can no longer equip your Sword of Feast and Famine. You cannot enchant it with a Bear Umbra, or even save it from a damnation by trying to flicker it with something like an eerie interlude of your own, because those all require you to target the creature. Finally, the last part of debt is block. So unlike all the things so far that have been more along the lines of saving your commander, this one is just really nice as your commander is essentially unblockable now. Everything includes creatures, so no creatures can block your commander. Very handy for getting that commander damage through and getting those attack slash combat damage triggers without having to worry about all those pesky blockers. So at the end of it all, while Bastion does give a buff to power and toughness, and it does save your commander from spells like Damnation that the Vexilus does not save your commander from, I think that with all of the other perks and that bonus of having Flash that the Vexilus has, it is actually the better overall card. Again, be very careful if you're a Voltron deck because your own stuff will fall off except if you're based around plus one and plus one counters, as they are safe from protection. They don't fall off. Good luck trying to get new ones on with targeted spells, but the current ones don't fall off. What sort of interactions did you think I missed in this video? Are there any specific cards that you're curious about? If so, please ask those in the comments section down below, and I will answer them. Anyhow, that's all I've got for today's episode. As always, I hope that all of you found this video to be entertaining at least. I hope that a few of you maybe even learned something about the crazy rules in this great game of magic. Have a good one. Ta-ta. Holy crap. That ended up being a lot longer than I expected.